Hi guys, this is Nikhil Chavla from the Unbiased Blog and welcome to another episode of Talk Tech. This is the brand new sizzling A-Class sedan, saloon or limousine, whatever you want to call it. Mercedes calls it the A-Class limousine. It's the A-Limo. It comes in two variants, diesel and petrol. And you also get a special AMG variant. So as you can see, it's really distinctive, really sharp and brand new fascia. This is not the A-Class that we had in India. The hatchback is gone forever. This is the sedan version, the saloon or the limousine version. And also this car, is replacing the CL in India. Yes, you would not be able to get CL anymore in India. This is the replacement for that car and a lot has changed, a lot has improved. In fact, Mercedes is pitching really high, so much so that it has features that go above its level. It goes above C-Class. It has more features than you would find in a C-Class also. So that's one thing that it's really trying to attract the younger audience and the millennials to buy this car. So up front you can see there's a brand new grille, there's a brand new fascia, the lines are really really sharp and it goes throughout the bonnet. You can see the line starting from here and going upwards and going into the roof line. That's really distinctive and you can see the multi-beam LED right there and it's standard across Mercedes now. And then you can see the sensors right up front. This car also comes with adaptive braking system, the camera right inside the Mercedes logo, underneath the logo in fact. So you can see the sides are equally sharp. You can see the lines going throughout the body from the fender line towards the rear section of the car. And similarly at the bottom line, you can see throughout the doors, it passes through towards the rear bumper. And you can also notice it's longer, wider, and in fact, it is the longest, most widest, most spacious in its segment now. So that means the claustrophobic feeling some people got in the CLA is gone forever because it's not a sloping roof line here and it's a proper roof and even a six foot person can sit easily in this. The wheelbase is longer, the car is wider, the car is taller, even the ground clearance is more because Mercedes has specifically increased the ground clearance and given bigger tires, you get a 17 inches tire here, the 255 17 inches tires. And Mercedes is saying that you will get a full size spare tire when it comes to India. And since the sloping roof line has gone, it is really airy and also you get a panoramic sunroof making it a really really nice car to sit in. And also it is the most spacious car in its segment. In fact, it can reach the levels of its next segment, the C-Class also. Now let's talk about the rear end of the car and you can see it's completely different. It's not something that we seen in the C-Class, E or S-Class and obviously it's a new design philosophy and you'll see the upcoming C-Class which was announced recently through the global unveil of the C-Class recently which will soon follow its launch in India is something very similar. So Mercedes following that design line and the lights on this one is a wraparound light. You can see how it flows through it and these are LED lights really really sharp at night and when you open the boot the lights cut into half and you can also see twin exhaust right there and a good chrome line over here on the bumpers which gives it a very distinctive feel and look as you can see from the badging we are driving the diesel version which is the a200d there are two variants a200 and a200d this is the d variant which is the diesel variant and the boot space in this one is 395 liters whereas in petrol one you get 405 liters a 10 liter difference but that's because, maybe because of the DOF filter that you get in the fuel tank. So because it's a diesel car, you have an AdBlue DOF filter in the car, which you have to add the additives while fueling up your car. So this is the interior of the A Limo. We will call it the A Sedan. And this is where it changes everything. The interior is beautiful. You got a mix of black, beige and wood pores and there's like a lot of soft points and completely new interior. It's something that you would expect from a car that is higher above its segment like a C-Class or an E-Class or even an S-Class because it gets the 10.25 inches M-Bux entertainment system and infotainment system. You get this air turbines, AC vents which are really really beautiful to look at. You get 64 colors ambient lighting. All the touch points are really really well done. You know you feel that you're sitting in a luxury car and specifically Comparing it to the segment, comparing it with the competition, it offers more of everything. And as I was talking, this car has a lot of safety features and you know, pre-safe and whatnot that is built into the Mercedes DNA that has all of them. It also has pre-attemptive braking that works really well. Though you have an option to shut it off or you can set three modes, however you want to use it. And as we were talking about the safety of the car, it does come with active brake assist, which does braking automatically if it senses that something has come abruptly. You also get an active bonnet function that is for enhanced pedestrian safety. On the steering, you get all the controls that you need. It has touch pads for both sides. You can change dials on the digital screen. You have a touch pad to access all the information from it. You can obviously use a Mercedes to give voice commands and you know get information right there. And in terms of storage options, there are a lot of storage options and also 
wireless charging up front usb type c charging two cup holders and obviously all the buttons and you know to change the dynamic mode of the car to volume control to navigation everything is right here with the touchpad this is to rest your arm and then again more storage space in the center with again two type c charging ports here and a lot of space here you can put your phone here and a lot of other things too and the attention to detail i was mentioning is really really nice you this open pore wood here the silver finish handles really really make it look good and you know the buttons even for the power windows are nice to touch at yes you do not get the burmeister audio option in this segment but again good sounding experience we tried it with the, the radio and connecting our iphone with it and really really great sound again no complaints there in terms of seat comfort they are really comfortable seats really spacious you don't feel crammed up and also you get a lot of thigh support under thigh support and you can even extend it further by a click of a button you just need to pull it out it's manual though but you can still pull it out and get a lot of support here and of course one thing that i really need to mention here is that the, even the c class would miss out this feature is the memory seating function you can store up to 3 seating configuration so if you are not the only one driving this car you can store different options for different people driving according to their height and weight so that's really brilliant because you just touch a button and the seat starts moving according to what you've set which is great and you can also store different seat like up to 3 seats the heats also have a kinetic massage feature yes in a class with a kinetic massage feature so a lot of things have been done to you know give this car a flaunt value because it might be the first mercedes somebody will buy and you know when you're buying that first luxury car getting into this segment there's a lot to flaunt to and that's exactly what mercedes has kept in mind and that's why they splurge on features which is a great deal so now let's move to the rear seats and check out how comfortable they are So now we're sitting in the rear seat and can you believe it this is an A class with so much of leg room so much of head room and so much of space right here even three people can sit comfortably and if you're sitting like two people then you can obviously pull out the armrest they have cup holders in it hidden there inside it and it's really really comfortable to sit at the back also the front seat has been adjusted according to my height still there is so much of leg room head room at the back and you know these nice touches continue throughout the car right across the car you also get your dedicated vents for the ac there's no control though you can't even shut them but yes there it is you can get air flow on your face you also get two type c charging ports right at the back and also some storage space and obviously some paper and magazine can be kept here these seats are iso fixed yes there is uh, some space that i would have loved if i would have got more under thigh support it's missing but then again mercedes has tried to give you under thigh support because if you notice the middle part of the seat has been extended a bit just to give you that under thigh support but then again the seating is too low that you know if you're a 5 8 or a higher person your thighs will be obviously above that support that has been given but then again very comfortable very airy thanks to the panoramic sunroof and the headroom that has been given in this car i would give it a thumbs up for you know the seating comfort and the interior quality in everything else that you see in the car it's really really great it's just that nitpicking a few things because nothing is perfect right and you can also notice there are three headrests for three people because mercedes was sure that three people can sit in this comfortably i would say really comfortably like there's still space for two more people and can be seated easily so three headrests individual headrests for three people and the front seats have been slimmed so that there's more leg room for the people sitting at the back so cleverly done and i really like it again speakers also at the back for that surround sound that you should get so you can see the design is really really aggressive and it has a very sporty front face and you can see that mercedes is going gung ho about it it's really target towards the millennial the first time buyers and that's what it's really attractive to look at and if you look at the side profile closely it is also the tallest in its segment and the proof line continues towards the progressive rear design and also we talk about the length of the car it is 4549 into 1796 into 1446 mm that it has the biggest length width and height in the segment making it a really spacious and airy car in terms of wheelbase you get 27 29 mm of wheelbase which is again one of the biggest in its segment So this 200D is powered by a 1950 cc engine and this is an 8G Tronic gearbox in the petrol version a 7G Tronic gearbox but in the diesel you get an 8G Tronic gearbox yes it's not the 9G Tronic that you used to in the other Mercedes models with 320 newton meter of torque and the acceleration as claimed as 0 to 100 is 8.2 seconds it's a front wheel drive with a fuel consumption mileage claimed as 21.35 kilometers So now let's talk about the drive of the A200 diesel that we're driving the A200D. It's really really punchy and peppy engine after the 2 RPM mark it really really flies off. Yes, uh, you would feel the suspension is tired on the 
you know, harsher side. That's what I felt. Maybe it's because of the bigger tire they've put in, but it really felt a little bit of harshness on there, especially on the speed breakers and bumps. I felt that it would have been a bit softer side. Press of a pedal and the car just flies off, especially after the two RPM mark. It's like it's really, really smooth. When it's in the lower RPM range, you would feel that the gear shifting is a little slower and that's about it, I think. Other than that, the gear shifting is really quick. It has 8G Tronic gear shifting. So right now we are at 70 and we're driving at D7, which is the seventh gear. Really, really smooth. And just again, just a bit about the suspension. And I think that could be because of the bigger wheel size that we're getting in India and that extended you know, ground clearance for the Indian market so that no more underbody scraping happens that we witnessed on the CLA. So goodbyes to the underbody scraping because we went through a lot of bumps and speed breakers in Goa and we didn't find any issues with that. It was really, really smooth and worked really well. So as uh, all Mercedes cars, you get dynamic mode select in this one too. You have individual sports comfort. In the sport mode, you would feel that cabin noise gets too much and I'll just shift it to that and you would feel, you know, because the gear shifting is changed and the car revs really too high and the cabin noise really definitely gets increased. Maybe because it's in Goa we are, not in Delhi where it's a really, really loud environment but I certainly felt the cabin noise could have been controlled a bit better and this is the sports mode and obviously faster gear shifting, revving of the engine now we'll put it back to the comfort mode which usually is the default mode you drive in when you switch on the car Now talking about the colours, we were driving the white colour, the polar white this car comes in six colours, denim blue being the newest entrant in this segment you also get the existing colours like Mojave silver, mountain grey, iridium silver and cosmos black So as you notice the agility and the control of the steering especially when you're maneuvering, you're turning it's really really brilliant I think it's one of the best in segment and really really peppy car One interesting fact that we learnt during the presentation is that it is the world's most aerodynamic production Car. That translates to that it holds a world record of CD 0.22. That means that the wind simply flows through it. Even the alloys are designed in such a way that they don't cut the wind but surpasses through that. So last thing I want to say is that the drive is really fun too and peppy and I think it's really targeted to the right audience. The first time buyers who want to flaunt a lot, it has all the features to flaunt. The drive is really nice, especially if you could maneuver through the bylanes of Goa without any problem. I think it should be fun to drive car anywhere, be it a highway, be it the city, be it bumper to bumper traffic. You should really enjoy the drive of this car. Again, you had the bump. I think the suspension is on the bit stiffer side. Other than that, really fun to drive. The gear shifting is nice. And yes, we would have loved a 9G Tronic, but again, no complaints there because obviously the pricing is different for this car. And uh, the view, the seating comfort really, really makes up for everything. And especially all the luxury that you're getting and all the features, the tech features, everything just makes up for it. So this was our first drive of the A-Class limousine by Mercedes. We drove the diesel version. We'll be soon driving the petrol version and the AMG version. For us, it's a definite thumbs up for Mercedes A-Class limousine in India and definitely something like a benchmark for other manufacturers to look on, especially that ADS warranty that you get on the engine and gearbox, which can be extended to the next owner also. So if you want to change your car after four years, the second owner would also get those benefits that get carried on so that's the best part about it and anyways you get three years of warranty comprehensive warranty on the car which is great at this segment we're expecting the price between 40 to 50 lakh rupees depending on what variant you buy the mg variant will definitely be differently priced but for now we're expecting the price of the petrol and diesel versions for 40 to 50 lakh rupees the launch is on the 25th of march that's when we'll know the pricing but for now thanks for watching talk tech on the unbiased blog hope you like this video if you like this video please hit the like button subscribe to our channel thanks for watching the unbiased blog